Hi everybody, it is Marissa. Um, I was just going to do a video and I thought, you know what? I have not gone live in a very long time. So I thought I would pop on as a surprise to everyone to do our Lone Star Retreat 2023 retreat review. Um, so I have the swag sitting next to me. Uh, I'm very excited to share it with you. Um, my chair, my swag, my sponsorship chair, um, Melissa, um, who get it together, girl. Um, <laughs> Michelle uh, does a fantastic job with sponsorships, and so I wanted to be able to share this with you guys so that you could see everything that she was managed to get for the bags. We're gonna talk about the sponsors for the giveaways. We had a ton of giveaways. Everybody got two, some people got three. So we were very excited about that, but we just wanted to come on, I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys um, so that you can see all of the goodies and everything and to come say hi because I have been very absent for a very long time. So I've got my coffee. I'm gonna set it in front of me so it may adjust the camera just a teensy bit because as you can tell, I don't really have a permanent setup here in this house for filming videos. And uh, so we're having to wing it. So there's like an ottoman in a situation and then there's like another piano bench situation over here. So we're gonna make it work and we're just gonna have fun. And I cannot see the chat at all. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of see what we can do. So if somebody will say hi on there, please. So I can see if it pops up. I'm thinking it should pop up on my screen, right? Guys, it's been a really long time. Okay, so let's talk about it. We moved the Lone Star Retreat this year back to Texas. Uh, it was in Texas its first year uh, back in 2020 when the pandemic hit and the whole thing. We still went. We took 16 people. It was the very first diamond painting retreat that had ever happened. And so... We were looking at it last year. We'd gone to Missouri the couple years after that. And while Missouri was fantastic, it was also a nine hour drive for the majority of my committee and hauling all of the stuff with us, everything like that. It just got to be way too much. So we decided to move it back to Texas, make it a little more local. It's still a four hour drive, but four hours is a lot easier than nine hours. Um, so we went down to a town called New Braunfels. It's down between Austin and San Antonio. Um, we used to go down there all the time. People go down there all the time to float the river. Um, it's a great music place for like Texas country music, things like that. There's Karen. Hello, Karen. So I can't see you on the screen. Okay. Um, so I love New Braunfels. I've been down there many, many times. Um, but this venue was recommended to me by several, um, I'm going to call them professional retreaters, people that go all the time to different retreats. And I have to say, you guys, I was so impressed by the venue. I've been down there twice now. Um, once in July for uh, Diana Rushing. She hosted a retreat down there that we went to. And then once for this retreat. And both times I was very impressed um, by their staff, by the venue, by just everything that they have going on. So, hi, Karen. Hi, Gail. Thank you for joining me. Hello, lurkers. Um, okay, so... We went down there, they had a setup for us the night before um, so that they allowed us like a workspace. And then uh, the committee stayed in the venue the night before and then we had to change rooms the day of because there was a group in ahead of us. They helped us get set up. And I mean, guys, they like helped us unload cars, unpack, move tables, set up, like they hung decorations on the wall for us. They were fantastic. Um, and I know for the people that attend, that's not such a big deal, but for the committee, for us to, you know, have all of that done in just a matter of hours, it was incredibly helpful. So thank you so much to John Newcomb Tennis Ranch and your staff. Uh, Stacy was our event coordinator there. She was fantastic the whole time. I've been, you know, talking with her for a year to coordinate this and just absolutely on the ball. No questions asked. Hey, Phyllis. Okay. So that was the venue. Some of the paths were uneven. You'll hear things. Uh, we had some wildlife encounters. Um, it was hot. It was very hot. It's Texas. And that was false fall that we had a couple weeks ago. And now we're back to summer because that's what Texas does. And so, uh, yes, it was hot. It was like 102. It was like 90% humidity. I can guarantee you all the Texans were as over it as everyone else. Unfortunately, I can't control the weather. We were hoping for more cooler, more seasonable weather, which would have been about 90. 
which for most people is probably still too hot, but <laughs> it is not 102. So we did the best we could. Um, but yes, it was hot. We acknowledge that. We did our best to keep everybody in the air conditioning, to keep the air cool, um, all of those kinds of things. And unfortunately, it's just the location. It's going to be hot in Texas. It's Texas. So, all right. So let's talk about swag. You guys want the swag, right? That's why we're really here. Um, so I've got my handy dandy swag card here. Um, these were the bags that they got this year. We changed the bag style. Um, so this is what the bags look like. They are a big open tote bag. Um, in our theme, our theme was Nacho Average Retreat, which was kind of like a fiesta type theme. And so they got these giant swag bags and we didn't think about how big the bags were. Um, so it looks like they didn't get a lot of stuff, but they really did. Um, one of our goals as the Lone Star Retreat is to be personable, to make everybody feel welcome, to make it a good experience for everyone as much as we possibly can, but also to make you feel like you get your money's worth um, when you come and you get to see all the things that you get in your bags and all of that kind of stuff. So in here, we're just going to kind of go through. Um, so when they walked into the room on their tables, those are not the right thing. I've got to dig just a little bit. So on their tables, they got a Serape placemat to mark their station. They were all different colors. Um, this one is a purple based color. Some of them were green, some of them were pink, some of them were red. So everybody got it a little bit different of a colorway. Um, but yes, so they got a Serape placemat to take home with them. And that'll work as a retreat mat if they want it to. And then they also got one of these, and this is the Just In Queso Survival Kit. And in their survival kits, they got a whole bunch of stuff because anytime I go to retreat, I always forget something, right? And it's something small, it's something insignificant, but when you get there, you really need it. And so I was like, okay, listen, like we need to just do this. Kim has, uh, one of my other committee members, Kim, has done these for us for a couple of past retreats. She's done a survival kit, not this size, but something that we could put in our stitchy bags um, and take with us to retreats. And it's been fantastic. And so I was like, hey, can I steal your idea? Because it's really good. And so hence the survival kit. So in your survival kit, oh, hey, there's my trays I was looking for. Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. Um, let me put that back over there. That back over there. Uh, you got two packs of Kleenex, and they were little cactuses to match our theme, because you guys know I like a theme. Uh, we got a little notebook to write in, and these were different colors. So, I think there were six or seven different colors of those. And then, okay, I guess they're just going in the floor. You got an eye mask in case you, it was too bright where you were going to sleep. There's the other Kleenex. You got some lotion. So I got some Cetaphil lotion just in case. Cause I know, especially like when you are uh, crocheting and things, your hands get really dry. Sometimes even stitching my hands get really dry. So this is a non-greasy lotion that everyone got. And because we knew it was gonna be hot, we got you a fan. So everyone got a little paper fan that was in theme so you could breeze yourself when it got a little warm. Hey, Michelle, no worries. So, a fan, chapstick, because that's one of the things I always, always forget. Uh, somehow, in my bag, I got two friction highlighters and no friction pen. So, everybody else should have gotten a highlighter and a pen, both friction, which means they're erasable. Don't leave these in the heat because, or write on things that you leave in the heat because it will disappear. Um, I know that by experience. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you also got two packs of acetaminophen in case we gave you a headache. Uh, you got a nail file because there's nothing worse than like snagging your nail that you've just accidentally ripped on your project. Some earplugs in case your roommate was a little bit loud when they slept. And because we knew the pathways are lit and everything at night, but it's still pretty dark out there. 
Um, there's lots of like tree coverage and things. And so Amanda got us a um, flashlight, which is actually pretty bright. I will try not to shine it right in the camera, but it is actually a pretty bright flashlight. And so uh, someone came up with the idea to put these on your name tag lanyards. And so I saw a lot of people that hung these from their lanyards. And so when they went and we put our room key in our lanyards as well because they were the key cards. So when you went out at night, you already had your lanyard on. So you had your flashlight and your room key already on you, which was nice. Okay, that other stuff is personal items that it got stuck in there. And then the final thing was this handy little tin. This can be used for all kinds of things. You could put your putties in here if you're loose putties. You could put your drill tips in here or your pin tips. Uh, cross stitchers can use these for all kinds of things. So we just love these. We love that it had the window so you could see what was in it. It's magnetic, so you can stick your cover minders or needle minders to it. And we decided to put stickers in it. So there's all kinds of little stickers in here um, that are on theme. So that one says Let's Fiesta. We've got one of the pinatas. This one says, did you bring tacos? Which is a completely valid question. Uh, we've got some musical instruments. We have a big cactus who is rocking out. A pinata. An avocado. And then this one is a Cinco de Mayo with the chili peppers and the sombrero. So just a selection of stickers. Everybody's was slightly different, but we thought, you know, you can take those, put them on whatever you want to put them on. I know a lot of people like getting stickers. Um, so that's what we did. So that was what was on their station when they walked in. They also got to pick a hand painted cactus um, that my niece painted most of them. Brandy on our committee did a few that she covered with fabric. And I actually didn't grab that. So do you guys want me to go grab it or do you want me to get it later and show you? It's up to you guys. Um, but they also got a hand painted cactus and it had a, a clothes pin on the back and they put their name on it and that was to mark their table names. So they knew, everybody knew where they were sitting. So that was what they got when they came in. And then we had dinner and we passed out their swag bags, you guys. So some of you, I'm sure, probably watched the Instagram live that we did under the Lone Star Retreat. If you didn't, take a watch on that because we did go over most of these things. Um, these three things are for later. Let me set those down. Okay. So in the swag bags, we're just going to go down the list. Um, everybody got a can koozie in case they forgot their... Um, tumblers at home so they were all different this is what mine looks like they all matched our theme so it's just a can koozie my card is in there for them and then leopard and lace boutique gave everyone a zipper pull set that pull that out it's in here somewhere There it is. So she did everybody slightly different. Mine was a Christmas theme because she knows I love Christmas. So we got a little zipper pull there from Leopard and Lace. Um, and since I have it in my hand, I'll go ahead and show you this. Uh, Susie Q's Cross Stitch Shop also did a zipper pull. Theirs was more uh, Western themed. So mine is a horseshoe with a horse head in it. Um, so everybody got one of those from Susie Q's and she was also an attendee and a vendor at our event this year. Um, Kim put in the eye mask and the earplugs into our survival kits. She also did our Lone Star retreat pattern, which I do not have with me at the moment. It's digital. And so I will show that to you here in a little bit. Um, Brandy Grotz, one of our committee members made us these awesome tortilla warmers. So these are washable, they're fabric. And what you do is you take your stack of tortillas, you take them out of the plastic um, and you put them in here and then you can heat them up as a stack in the microwave. 
and they won't get all hard and crunchy on the edges. Um, it keeps them nice and soft. And so she made one of these for everyone. And then when this starts getting kind of gunky inside or whatever, you can wash it and then reuse it. So we, everybody got a tortilla warmer and I think there were some different fabrics. Mine is uh, different types of peppers. So I think other people got some different ones. Um, so Amanda from our committee did the little flashlights. She also did the official retreat reminder, which is this little Serape mat. It says LSR 23 on it. So that was the official retreat needle minder. Uh, Dirty Annie's cross stitch gave us a pattern that looks like this. It's called Mr. and Mrs. Margaritaville because as you know, some of you know, we do midnight margaritas at every retreat. And so we thought this one was appropriate. So it's Mr. and Mrs. Margaritaville. Everybody got a hard copy of that. All the other patterns we got were digital copies. Um, and I don't necessarily have like a cover page. All I have is like the actual pattern. So I may not be able to show those to you, but we do have, I think we got all but one of them stitched up. Um, so I will have to find the pictures. Um, there are more videos coming. There will be more thank yous to our sponsors coming. We are currently in the process of editing and doing those things. So you'll be able to see those in the videos and things that are coming up. Um, let's see here. Bella Art De Nicole put one of their essentials trays, mine is orange, um, in everyone's. And I think mine's it's not sparkly, but it's got a really cool, like, sheen to it, I guess is the right word. So the little essentials trays, I like to use these for beading. When I do different beading projects, those work really well with beads. Um, and then Nessa's Needle Minders. She was a new attendee this year, but I know her from stitching. Um, she's part of my Dallas stitching group. She put in these adorable clay needle minders. There were four different little girls. So I got this one and there were four other ones. I think these are adorable, like just so stinking cute. So she did one of those for everyone. Um, DP was Sparklers put in. Whoop. Hold, please. So sorry. <laughs> put in these adorable little needle minders or cover minders, whichever, that stand up vertical that they 3D printed, as well as a um, special drill diamond painting in everyone's kits. I like these little snack size special drills. I have a lot of fun doing these. So mine is a rose, I believe. Um, so everybody got one in their bags that was a little bit different. But when I have like, when I don't wanna like commit to a big project, I really like doing those little snack sized ones. Okay. Um, Expression Fiber Arts, this is their Second year, I believe, possibly their third year sponsoring for us. I can't remember off the top of my head. And they always do an excellent yarn because we do have people that do different crafts. It's not just diamond painting, cross stitching. We have crocheters and knitters and quilters. So we really looked at that this year and wanted to cover a whole bunch of different crafts, make sure everybody got a little bit of something in the bag um, if they did different crafts. So this particular one, this is a sock yarn. It is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. And it is in the colorway Painted Desert. And I just want you guys, I don't know, I really hope this is showing up as well for you as it does for me. This colorway is just gorgeous. I absolutely loved this. I thought it was just, I mean, amazingly pretty the way that it blends and all of that. So I am going to have a uh, craft NATO Angie. She was there as well. Um, I am going to have her possibly make me some socks out of this yarn. I don't know if there's enough in one skein, but I can get some more skeins if I need to. <laughs> um, so Melissa Barker, who's another one of our committee members. Melissa is one of the original, the OG. She went to the very first retreats. 
Um, there's only a handful of us left now that still come to this retreat, um, that really that retreat at all. And so she made us these fantastic neck warmers. So this has got stuff inside of it and you can heat them up in the microwave or you can put them in the freezer if you get overheated and they will heat and cool. And then you drape them around your neck to give yourself some relief. It'll help with the tension. If you get hot and you put it in the freezer, it'll help keep you cool. Um, and so these are really awesome. You can also use them for like menstrual cramps that we're not allowed to talk about. All that kind of stuff. You can use it for all that. So she made one of those for everyone. They can also be a weapon if you swing it. All of that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so Robin Schneider, who has attended for three years now, she has started doing some sublimations. She's infinite treasures for you. And she has started making these fantastic sublimation things. So we had her make some Clar coasters because I don't know about you guys. I hate how gunky my car, my cup holders in my car get. And so I was like, you know, it would be kind of fun. I like things to be useful as well as pretty. Um, and so she made us these, that is our official retreat logo this year. And so she made two of these for each person. So you have a set to go in your car. I've been waiting to put mine in. See, so Michelle Bendy Stitchy, so Bendy Stitchy Designs, made us a pattern that she calls Taco Cat. And again, that's one of those we'll have to show you later because I only have the pattern part of it. Um, Fat Quarter Shop. So some of you know Fat Quarter Shop. They are huge in cross-stitching and in quilting. Um, they, we asked them, and we honestly were not expecting anything at all, like hardly anything. Um for them to sponsor us and Amanda calls me because we had things shipped to her house this year and she's like fat quarter shop order is here and I opened my door and there were five boxes you guys they went above and beyond like honestly above and beyond so many of our sponsors did this year I'm gonna keep going here in a minute and y'all are gonna see Our sponsors are just absolutely fantastic. The Some of the best that we could ask for, honestly. Um, so, Fat Quarter Shop <laughs> sends us five boxes of stuff for everyone. And so, we put them in these little bags so all of their stuff was together. So, let's go through it and I can tell you what all's in here. So, we got a project journal. So, this is for cross stitch, but it could easily be converted for diamond painting. And they sell these on their sites. Everything in here they you can get off of their website, which is uh, fatquartershop.com. And um, it just, it, you, when you open it up, it's just got pages that you can fill out for your projects. So if you substituted, how much time it took. Now this one, of course, is geared for cross stitch, but it could easily be geared for diamond painting just by changing some of the headings. So it's an awesome way to keep track of what you worked on, especially like in a year. Most people, I think, use these for about a year or until they're full, however long that might take you. Um, we also got these super cute multicolored floss bobbins. So you put your floss on these and you wind it around and then you can hang them on a ring um, so that they're all together for each project. So I thought these were super cute. I don't know if you can see all the colors in there. So we got those. Uh, this is a needle case. So inside of here, let me get it open for you. I got two of these now. So I'm very excited because one can go in my go bag and one can go on my craft cart. Um, inside is a magnet. So you can put your needles. You could even get some of your flat cover minders in here. And um, you put them in there and then they this snaps closed really well. And so you can travel with your extra needles. They're not gonna get, you know, pushed around in here, bent out of shape or anything like that. This is a really easy way to carry. Um, so we got those. We've got some finishing tape. So it is double-sided acid-free tape for your cross-stitch projects. You could use this for your diamond paintings too. And it won't turn them uh, yellow. So like if you wanted to, hang them on the wall or mount them into something, you could do something like that. So,
Um, we also got a stash in store, which I love these things. Like these are fantastic. They travel pretty well. And um, you can, you put your tools and things down in here. The, it's very flexible. And so you can move it, you can use these for makeup brushes, tool brushes, paint brushes. Um, you can put your diamond painting pins down in here, your scissors, all kinds of things. So I've got one of these here at the house already. Um, this one is going to go on my craft cart and be my travel buddy so that I have a way to put everything in there. Um, I don't, I think they were all blue, but I'm not a hundred percent to be real honest. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Oh, wait. Well, they had one more thing in here. And I took mine out because I thought I was going to have to use it. They also gave us a seam ripper. So, sometimes, unfortunately, you have to frog. So, they gave us a seam ripper as well. So, that was Fat Quarter Shop. Then, we got another pattern from Noctiflora Designs. And it's called the Seeing Eye Succulent. The Stitch Crip did us one, and it's called the Pumpkin Crawler. And um, Mama Witch Cross Stitch did us one, and it's called the Ola Pattern. And it is literally a hissing possum wearing a sombrero, and I love it. I love all of them. I think they're all fantastic. We were so excited. They would say, yes, we're going to do one. We're going to do a pattern. What is your theme? And then it was just like a waiting game to just see what they came up with. And they are all so fun. They're all so unique. They're very evocative of their designers. We were so blessed this year. So thank you to everyone that designed a pattern for us. We absolutely love them. Um, we can't wait to see what you come up with next. Okay. Um, 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 so this next one. <laughs> we Archer's Arts has been around since I was diamond painting, like the very beginning, like 2017, 2018, 19. Um, and it has never managed to work out, um, that we were able to get them on board. So either they were, you know, had something going on, they were really backed up the first year, um, you know, different things like that. So we were never able to quite get them on board as a sponsor. And so this year we were like, you know what, they're back. Let's ask them. It's worth it to ask them the worst they can do is say no. So we asked them and Amanda gets these in and she FaceTimes me and I am on my morning commute to work and she, I have to pull off because these are so stinking cute. So they came up with a completely new design. So it is a round and mine is not quite fitting right now, but I think it got a little squished. So the inside is a tray that you can use. It's different colors. I love the different colors. So adorable. And the top is a sombrero hat. And they even put Lone Star 2023 on it. Like, you guys, how stinking cute is this? I mean, can you even? So, and the diamond painters can use this. I'm going to use this probably for, like, cross-stitching. So, I can put my um, cut-off threads, my orts in here so stinking cute. Like, I mean, adorable. I love the design. I love that they came up with something new and different. It is just so cool. So thank you to Archer's Hearts, Jen. Like, oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness. So that was Archer's Hearts. And then we're almost done, but we're not done yet. Um, Michelle, who is on the committee, she is your sponsorship chair. She's the one that gathered all of these goodies up for you. She also crochets. She learned to crochet at her first Lone Star Retreat, which was in 2021. And so this year, we all got a little taco. And it's a keychain, so you can put it on your bag. You can put it on your keys. But we all got this lovely little crocheted taco. Last year, she did pumpkins for us. This year, it's tacos. So we got those. And then we contacted Firefly Designs and asked them to do a tray for us, too. Isn't that cute? Um, and, of course, they came up with, this is their, I guess, Inferno mini tray. And I had to be taught all the things that it did because I haven't been diamond painting very much until recently. I diamond painted at the retreat, you guys. It's been a year and a half. 
and I actually diamond painted and I came home last night and diamond painted some more. I don't even know what's happening, but um, they sent us these. This is Firefly Designs, Firefly Trays, and so they made a cute little sombrero for the diamond on the front, and then of course the tray comes off. You guys all know this. I was, I was blown away. Um, on the side, it also has our hashtag on it, Lone Star Retreat 2023. Uh, the tray over here, your little trash tray pops out so you can empty it, which I think is genius. And then the spout has a like a sliding gate thing on it. So it keeps your diamonds in or you can take your diamonds out. You guys... You can tell I've been out of the diamond painting world for a long time because I was completely blown away. And I keep putting this on backwards and upside down. Um, just completely blown away by how far things have come just in a year and a half. So, that's Firefly. I've already used this tray and I really like it. And then, what do we have left? What do we have left? Our friend Tia. Tia has also one of the ones that, one of the OGs that went to the very first retreat. And you guys know she learned to play with clay. Um, while she was at that first retreat, we had a, a pen making class. And she started getting into making clay and she makes pens and she does all kinds of things. She made me these really cute earrings that I love wearing um, a couple years ago. And this year she made for us a cover minder and it was really fun to see like the pictures because it started out like this big and she managed to whittle it down to where the cover minders were this size and so it is a cute little cactus with a little flower on it in the desert background I'm trying to get you a good angle without taking it out of the plastic um, so yes Tia made one of these for everyone super super cute Almost, I think we're almost done. Is that everything? Oh, and then last minute, we weren't aware that she was gonna do it, but our friend Lori, she, Lori ended up teaching the uh, cross stitch finishing class for us at the retreat. She also made um, everyone a little gift. So it came in a little bag like this, and it's a fabric coaster, which is washable. And it's got the little llamas and things on it. I love the bright colors. And then there's a few pieces of candy in there as well. So I love using these. These are fantastic. They don't make your cup like tipsy or anything like that. It's still a sturdy sit on a flat surface. Um, I have one in like every single one of my cross stitch bags, my project bags, like all that kind of stuff. I love to take them, rotate them out, do different things. Um, okay, you guys, I think maybe that is the bottom of our bag i'm pretty sure that's everything so this these are the posters that we had hung up that have all of our sponsors and like i said i'll put a list in the description box when i get to a computer so these were the posters that we had hung up so you can see all of our different sponsors these are giveaway sponsors and swag sponsors so that was the first poster this is the second poster. It took two to get everybody on there. So if you sponsored anything for this retreat, I just want to thank you so much. Like I said, we've got more thank yous coming, more videos, more things like that. Let me go over here and read you um, the... Uh, Oh. Pause, please. There we go. Uh, let me read you the giveaway sponsors so that they are all on here. Hello. So, Craftably, who has been a sponsor since our first year. They, uh, I mean, they first year they came in, they always exceed our expectations. Um, Amy and I, I, they are so nice. They are just across the Metro from me. I have met them so many times. Michael and Amy are some of the best people that I know. Just so kind, so warm, so welcoming, a wonderful small business to support. So craftably, 
uh, Bella Art Diamonds and Bella Art Day Nicole. Both were sponsors. Um, we got to meet Nicole and Jamie this year, and I had so much fun. We sat in the corner, me and Nicole, with a couple of other people, and we laughed. We laughed so hard. My stomach hurt. Um, Diamond Pen Pal, Savvy Skeins, Farm to Needle, The Golden Needle, who is a local business in New Braunfels, and we're going to come back to them in a minute. Tia at Palm Pal Pins, Orafil Threads, Needleworks, um, uh, Amazing Craft Shop, Screen Door Needleworks, Kevin's Creations, Dootsie Boo Designs, Expression Fiber Art, Art Dot, Needle and Bone, M&M Creative Treasures, Quilting is My Therapy, Keepsake Quilting, Fat Quarter Shop, Treasure Studios Art, Randis Crafty Corner, Sparkle Queen Creations, Van Lathworks, Enablers Outpost, The Crafty Heifer, Dreamer Designs, Clay by Kim, Primrose Cottage, Leopard and Lace Boutique, Nessa's Needle Minders, Blick Art Supplies, Touch the Souls Art, and Susie Q's Cross Stitch Shop. All were giveaway sponsors this year. So, I mean, that is quite a list of giveaway sponsors. So, like I said, we were really blessed this year. Um, everybody did an amazing job and just absolutely exceeded our expectations of anything we could ever ask for um, when you ask for sponsorship. So, a couple other things, and then I will let you go. So, this year, um, I try to have, like, a keepsake every year, a little something that everybody does, you know, signs or something along those lines that I can hang up on my wall and keep and remind myself why I do the retreats when, you know, the work is getting a little tedious and tough. And so this year, um, my niece Zoe painted this Serape cactus for me and everybody signed it. And so we're going to put a hanger on it, put some ribbon, make a bow, and I'll hang this on my wall for 2023. So this is my 2023 keepsake there. And if you can hear rustling in the background, that is actually Zoe herself. She won't come say hi, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we were able to get Under the Sea Fabrics to come and have a pop-up shop. And so they couldn't like shut their store down and do all that. But after they closed the store Saturday night, they brought, packed up the cars, brought a bunch of stuff, came over and did a setup. And so we were able to shop without having to go all the way to San Antonio, which is not too far, but is a little out of our way. Um, and so Leslie and her crew came. And so I got fabric because that's, I mean, you buy fabric from Leslie. If you don't know, you do. Um, so I got Malesius and this is a, um, I don't remember, I think it's a fat quarter, but I really like neutral colors. And so I went ahead and got this one. So this is the color I got there. And then I also got this one. Oh, this is a 18 count Ada there. And then I got this color and it's, oh, it is coming up on camera pretty well. It's like a very light pinky color. And this was in their mystery bag. So she does these fantastic bags that are like mystery bags. So you know what count you're getting and you know what fabric it is, but that's all you know. So I got this one and it is a, it's tiramisu. It's a fat eighth or a stitcher's eighth. And it is a 20 count Ada. So it's, it's also a fairly good neutral. It's very light pink colored. So I got those two from there. And then the Golden Needle, who is one of our giveaway sponsors, they donated a $25 gift card. They just moved their shop from San Marcos down to New Braunfels. And so they were doing their grand reopening while we were there. So they let us come in early um, the day of the reopening. And we got to do some shopping and some things like that. So I actually really love their bags. I love that it looks like old newspaper prints. Um, so we went in, we did some shopping there and I got three patterns, two for me and one for my sister. So the first pattern is a Primrose Cottage. I've been eyeing this one since last year and I love the Primrose Cottage um, 
almost every single pattern that they do. I love it. <laughs> and so I got this one to get into the spooky season and it is called um, Halloween Kisses. And then I got another Primrose Cottage, which is Hot Cocoa and Christmas Cheer. I really love, I love stitching red on this tan colored, any kind of tan colored fabric. I don't know what it is about that particular color combination that grabs me, but I adore it. And so I got another pattern that I can stitch red on tan. And then for my sister, she loves doing like the, um, sewing tomatoes and the spools and things like that. And so I happened to see this one up on the wall while I was already in line, by the way, and went ahead and got this. This is a Sue Hillis design. And so I got this one for my sister so she can do all of the spools and she could probably take some away, make it, you know, not look like a Christmas tree if she didn't want to change the colors, all of that kind of stuff. So however she wants to stitch that, that will be for her to stitch. So we did that. So thank you to the Golden Needle for opening up to us and letting us come in early and doing all of that kind of stuff. Uh, Phyllis says, I'm amazed. I'm so sad I missed this year. Uh, sponsors are the best. I'm so glad they're in Texas. Yes. So we're back in Texas. Thank you, Phyllis. We appreciate that. Guys, like, oh my goodness. Um, there were a couple, there were so many high points this time around. Like, I feel like this is probably one of the best retreats that we've ever put on. Um, we are now six deep. So I've, we've hosted six retreats. Um, and then a couple of like day events and things like that. And I cannot tell you, it is so nice when you do a year's worth of work and you go and you see the smiles on people's faces when they get there and you get to see people that you only get to see maybe once or twice a year. Um, it is just absolutely fantastic to get to meet people that you've never met before. You've only ever seen them online. Um, all of that kind of stuff. Hey, Amanda. Um, so just being there in the environment with people, them seeing all of the work that you and your committee have put in for a whole year. And you're thinking, you know, we really, really think through things. We make sure, does this make sense? You know, is this useful? You know, I mean, all of those little questions um, we really put a lot of thought and effort and planning into these retreats and for it to work out and for it to go as smoothly as it did, there were a few little hiccups. They were all minor things that could be fixed. Um, just absolutely amazing. This group of people that we were with were fantastic. We had so much fun. Y'all, I don't, I have not laughed like that in so long. I mean, I was like witch cackling at one point. And it was so funny because then everybody's laughing at me laughing, which makes me laugh more. And it was just a whole vicious cycle. But I literally woke up a couple of mornings and my stomach muscles hurt from laughing so much. And I think that is the best kind of muscle pain that you could ever have. Um, so just, I mean, so many people that I got to meet, so many people that I just got to spend time with, get to know better, all of that kind of stuff. I like this venue. Um, because the room is big enough for us not to feel like on top of each other, but it's small enough that you still feel like you're close and you can get to know, talk to people, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so much fun. So many people with their big personalities, just everybody was shining, making sure everybody else felt comfortable. We had quite a few new people this retreat. We really did. And it was really nice to see the people that had retreated before coming and making sure those people felt welcome, that they were, you know, kind of brought into the fold, into the herd, if you will, um, and made to feel welcome, made to feel comfortable. You know, people talk to them, people, you know, come sit with us. There's a lot of that going on. And so I always love that. That's what we do it for is for the relationships. Hey, Shay. And Shay has been to some of my retreats. Now she's been to the February retreats and she is hosting her own this year. It's Crafter's Paradise, and it is at the end of May, beginning of June, I'm pretty sure. Rem correct me if I'm wrong, Shay. Um, I know that they're full. I'm on the wait list, like way down the wait list, and that's okay. It's okay. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but I am reading for them. I, anything that you guys need, you know, absolutely let me know, and I'm happy to help. 
Um, but yes, Shay is a great retreater. She is so calm and laid back. She just sits over there and does her little crafts and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And so I just heart Shay. And Shay, I was talking with Deborah. Side note, I was talking with Deborah at this retreat. We are all like within 10 minutes of each other. So we literally have to do something together. Like I'm going to plan it but we have to meet somewhere because it's stupid. We're all 10 miles within each other. So we're going to have like a far North Dallas, a far North Metro meetup. So I'm going to be contacting you about that. Just so you know, um, Hey Berta, did you make it home? You doing all right? Did you get, did you get some sleep? Y'all this retreat, I'm usually in bed about noon, midnight, one o'clock is usually about how late that I stay up at most retreats because I'm up early, you know, seven, seven thirty. And I don't know, I think I was just having so much fun just chatting with everyone this time. The first night I was up until three. Uh, the second night, Amanda and I closed the room down at 4 a.m. The last night I did go to bed at 12.30 because I had to drive the next day, I had to drive home. And I'm telling y'all, I got on that drive and we got about two hours in and I literally had to stop the car and get out and walk because I'd already had three shot espresso drink and was still falling asleep. So I am still tired, but it's a good tired. It is a absolutely, I'm missing everybody already. And it's only been four days since we've been home. Um, yes, just absolutely. Yeah, see, Amanda's got to convince Taylor to go to a Texas college, her daughter, so that she can justify moving to Texas. <laughs> Exactly. So we were talking about that the other day. I was like, you know, there's lots of good colleges in Texas. <laughs> we're trying, you guys. We're really trying. So Amanda had a, I think it was 14 or 17 hour drive total. Um, she came down from one of those I states, uh, Indiana, Illinois. She came from Illinois. Um, anyway, so she comes down. So she drove down and they... 19 hours. Sorry. You know, I can't ever remember what state she lives in y'all. I know her. I talk to her almost every single day and I still can't tell you where she lives. I know the name of the town. I can't remember what state it's in. Anywho. So yeah. So Berta got home, flew in yesterday morning. I bet you are absolutely wiped out, Berta. I know I was tired and it was not, I didn't do near as much traveling as you did. So but yeah, you guys, it was so fantastic. If you can get in on a retreat, there are so many that are popping up now. Um, there's a retreat, a Diamond Painting Retreats group on Facebook, and that's what it's literally called, Diamond Painting Retreats. They'll give you info for different meetups. They're happening now all over. They may not be, you know, what I do with all of the swag, and I, I know I'm extra. It's okay. It's who I am. Okay? It's a thing. Anyway, so it may not be all of that, but... Honestly, if you can afford to do it, getting to go to a retreat is an experience. And it's an experience I would love for everyone to have. I know it's not feasible for everyone. But honestly, if you have the opportunity, despite all of the insecurities or the doubts or the anxiety or anything like that, definitely do it. Do it at least once. Because then you'll actually know whether or not you really like it. I love going to them. I This is my fourth one this year. And I still have another one in December that I'm going to. So this will be five in a year. Which is the most I've ever done in one year. Like honestly. I usually do like three a year and that's it. Uh, so this year will be five this year. I don't know that I'll do five next year. But I did get into Mingle in the Mitten. So I get to go to Michigan for the first time. That's um, Mindy and Angie's Diamond Painting Retreat. Um, I'm on the wait list for Shays as well. I'm really excited to go to Michigan, y'all. I've only ever flown, like, into the airport in Michigan. And I don't think that counts as, like, going to that state. Um, I've only seen the Great Lakes from the air. I've never seen them from the ground. So I'll get to see a Great Lake. Um, I'm really excited. It's going to be May. I'm hoping it's still going to be cold as hell up there because we don't, are not going to get that in Texas. Like, let's be honest. I would like to be able to wear, uh, Michelle's crocheted me a scarf last year. I've never gotten to wear it. I would really like to wear my scarf and be able to layer and look real cute. I look real cute in the winter. I don't look cute in the summer. It's too hot to look cute in the summer. Okay. 
and I live in Texas, so it's always summer um, until it's like winter and it's, you get like two days transition and that's it. Um, anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off here. I've been on here, I think for almost an hour. Um, we'll probably go until one o'clock and call it good, but I'm super excited to go to Michigan. I'm going to meet a whole different group of people. Um, I know like maybe five people that are going to that one so far. Um, so I'm excited to hang out with them. I'm excited to meet a whole bunch of other people as well. Um, that can't necessarily get down here for a retreat. Uh, yeah, Amanda says, we may be a bit over the top, but we enjoy doing it for everyone. We really do. I mean, y'all, we're like over here. We knew the theme for next year when we came home last year in 2022. That's how much we enjoy it. Like, we are already thinking ahead. We were working on stuff for 24 before we even went to 23. So we already have our theme. We already have all of that stuff. So next year, uh, this is relevant information for you guys. So next year, our Lone Star Retreat theme is Home is Where the Herd Is. Um, everybody's been asking me to do the, the cow retreat because that's my logo. I'm the crafty heifer. Um, everybody's been asking for the cow retreat. So we're finally doing the cow retreat. So Home is Where the Herd Is is next year. It's our fifth year um, anniversary next year. So we are doing all of the things and it will be September 27th to the 30th. That's a Friday to a Monday. It will be at John Newcomb Tennis Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas. And the open registration starts next Saturday, October the 7th at noon central time. So, and it will only be posted. The only place I'm posting the registration form is in the Lone Star Retreat Facebook group. So, if you want to be able to get in there on that retreat um, or have the opportunity to sign up for it, you have to be part of the Facebook group. Um, I don't foresee needing to post it anywhere else, honestly. Um, it's going to fill up incredibly quickly, you guys. So, I do my retreats. It's first come, first serve. But the people that attended this year's retreat always get first sign up. Um, it's a loyalty thing for me. It's about, it's not, you know, me wanting to keep people out or anything like that. It is literally, these people have come. They spent their money. They spent their time. All of that kind of stuff. Um, taking a chance on me. So, I'm going to take a chance on them. Um, and so, they always get first sign up. It's the way I'll, I don't ever foresee that changing. Um, I know it probably makes some people mad, but honestly, we went through 17 people on our wait list this year. We signed up when we opened signups last year, we had six available spots. Those filled up in two minutes and there were 17. We went, still went through 17 people on our wait list. A lot of life happens. So don't ever be discouraged by being on a wait list, right? If I get to go to Shays, that's great. I know I'm way down on the wait list. That's Okay. I'm not going to stress about it. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. And if not, it's okay. There's always next year. Right? Like, I would like to be there, but it's not going to, you know, break my heart if somebody else gets the opportunity to go that's never been. I've been to a lot of retreats. I enjoy it. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. It's okay. I would like for someone to enjoy it. So, if you get on the wait list, don't get discouraged. I literally had to fill two spots. I think it was three weeks before we came. So somebody pulled out at the very last minute, something came up, filled two spots, literally three weeks before we came. So it's never too late until the day of. Anywho, that's all the information I have for you. Does anybody have any questions? If not, I want to thank you all for joining me. Like I said, I know it's been a hot minute. Like, I am fully aware. I don't know that I'll come back and do regular videos, regular lives, or anything like that on YouTube. Um, I'm just not in that season of my life at the moment. Um, so, you know, we'll see. It may just be these sporadic pop-up lives. I may get on with you and do different things. Um, I will mention tomorrow... Um, is Witchy Stitcher Day. So for those of you that cross stitch, you probably know the Witchy Stitcher. Um, she is battling cancer right now. And so in order to help support her, the community has decided that tomorrow's Witchy Stitcher Day, October 1st, 
and um, some of the ways you can support her is by stitching on a pattern of hers that you already have. Uh, you can like her on her social medias, which it's the witchy stitcher everywhere. Um, you can purchase from her shop, the PDF, anything that doesn't have to be mailed is good. Um, so I purchased, even though I have witchy stitcher patterns, um, I still purchased two new ones yesterday because she's got two that I've been um, eyeing for a while. So one of them I've had is literally been on my wish list for like a year. Um, and the other one is one of her new releases. Um, no problem, Dawn. It was so good to see you. Um, so yes, if you want to support Witchy Stitcher and help do all of that kind of stuff, then tomorrow's Witchy Stitcher Day. I'm going to be doing a Zoom uh, late tomorrow afternoon into the evening. So if you want to join that, that will all be in the Lone Star group as well. I'm going to run all that through there. Um, the February No Frills Retreat that I also host is currently full. There are seven people on the wait list, but if you want to be on the wait list, I'm happy to add you. I don't foresee that m list moving too, too much. Maybe one or two people, but honestly, that list is probably pretty much set. We're doing a Top Gun theme this year, and I am so freaking, ex excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I am so freaking excited about it, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited, like, I was just like, oh, Top Gun, we can do the whole thing, and yes. Anyway, I can't give you all the details, but we're doing a Top Gun theme for that one. Next year's home is where the herd is. It's all about the cows. Um, so, thank you for joining me. I hope if you didn't get to watch this video, you watch it on the playback. Exactly, Dawn, Top Gun. Like, we're just going to have so much fun. Like, we're doing all of the geeky things. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, thank you guys for joining me here. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. I love you. I miss you all of those kinds of things. You guys know where to find me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times to our sponsors, to my committee who I could not do these retreats without, um, to anybody that attended or that supported in any way. Thank you so much um, for everything that you've done because these wouldn't be a success without you. And until I see you guys next time, happy stitching, happy diamond painting, till we meet again. Bye guys.